you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Matthew Faulkner from Canon Europe, and I take care of applications development. Uh, and that's really a mixture of finding new and interesting and cool applications for print, but also marketing Canon's current capabilities within the graphics and communication sector. And one of the things that, that makes my job a little bit easier is I love print. And for me, that started more than 20 years ago as a packaging designer working for a manufacturing business. And you know, one of the great satisfying things about that is seeing the, your creative efforts finally on a shelf within a supermarket. And I think I've never really got tired of seeing print happening from a creative process to seeing it on screen and then going through a print and manufacturing and finishing process and seeing the final end result. It's a very uh, inspiring thing uh, for me. And at Canon, we're very fortunate to work with some really incredibly creative people, and particularly from the photo and image making parts of the business. And one example is the guy who took these next uh, landscape images is Baz Milka. And Baz is a, a landscape artist from the Netherlands, and he has this amazing eye for you know, creating some beautiful imagery, but also uses print within his business incredibly successfully in the way he sells his work. And Baz has this concept that he calls the art of seeing in the way he approaches the creation of his images. So you or I, or maybe most people in this room, would drive past a field in the Netherlands and we'd see this kind of thing. This is an area where cattle can safely, within those fences, come down to the water and drink. But Baz has become somewhat an expert in terms of meteorology and weather and time of day and light and seasons. So Baz knows exactly the right moment to go back to this same place. And the image that he captures looks something like this. And it's much more appealing as something that you would print out and maybe put on your wall. And this kind of um, creative eye, this technical ability, and probably a lot of patience, develops these kind of images, which really look fantastic. And particularly this one, Baz very casually tells you that he was driving home through the Netherlands in a storm and he just pulled off the side of the road. You can see his car headlights in the foreground there and just took some pictures of lightning, which I'm, I'm pretty sure is not so easy to do. And these images actually look pretty good on the screen. But when you see these printed, they bring on a, a whole new meaning and they communicate totally differently. And especially a large format print, you know, on a really nice piece of media, beautifully lit and mounted, it actually speaks to you in, in a different way. You can look at the whole image as a single piece or move closer to it or change the angle that you're viewing it. Or even in the case of what you see here, is view a whole gallery of images together that paint a story and tell a picture. So print to me in these environments can have real magical qualities in the way it can communicate. Another example is a, is a Canon ambassador, photographer and filmmaker called Clive Booth who over a number of years has been uh, visiting a Scottish island called Islay and, and really capturing moments across the island and how island life is changing. And that's everything from the landscapes to the wildlife, you know, of course affected greatly or the first thing affected by changes in any environment. Well then also the people, so examples here of working with uh, some of the volunteer lifeboat crews who put their life in danger uh, sailing through these kind of seas in the, uh, on the west coast of Scotland. And then three generations of the same family. Uh, the two guys on the left are farmers, but also highly decorated members of the lifeboat crew. And they, the young grandson there, based on this Scottish island, will he have the same life that his, his father and grandfather did? Well, th this is certainly up for change. And you start to get this human, these human stories, but when you see this exhibition put on view on the island, it really communicates and, and really captures people's attention in a way that digital print just can't replicate in these same examples. One final example of a, of a photographer that we work with at Canon is uh, Martin Parr. Martin is probably one of the uh, most famous living photographers around today and president of Magnum Photos. And for around 30 years, Martin has been uh, capturing images on beaches. And he has this view that life on beaches and the, and the environment and the, um, uh, yeah, the way people look and the way people, people behave is quite different on beaches. So we followed him around Nice for a couple of days uh, a few years ago. It was terrible, really hot and really uncomfortable. 
so he was shooting images during the day, and then we built a pop-up gallery with him. So in the afternoons, he was choosing images and putting them in the art gallery, and people were coming along as we built up towards a big opening night at the end of the weekend. They would come along, and they'd see the images they'd have taken. They had the lady with the dog and, and the guy on the bottom there on the left as a, as a tourist, and the fitness guy on the top right. Well, the guy that you see there on the bottom right-hand side was an Australian uh, visiting Nice with a group of friends. And he'd uh, enjoyed the Nice hospitality probably a little bit too much the night before, and then fallen asleep on the beach the next day, and his friends had hilariously covered him in stones. They'd put cigarettes in his ears and things in, in his hair. And we convinced his friends to bring him to the opening night. And at this point, he didn't even know his photograph had been taken. And we thought we would uh, you know, capture the moment and he'd maybe be a little bit embarrassed or you know, hopefully he'd see the funny side. But as you can see there, he's taking a selfie of himself uh, with a picture of himself unconscious. And it's actually, it was the proudest moment of his life, I have to tell you. So it was really kind of fantastic moment. And it shows you the power of print in these circumstances. But how do we relate this to uh, printers? How do we find some real value in terms of print? Let's just take a really simple example of a very basic application like a poster. So you know, a few examples of posters there, one's advertising a catwalk show, one advertising a, you know, an online competition. And on the left hand side, an example of a 50% off poster for a store, a retail store. And you would typically see this in a window. So what is it? It's just a 50 euro cents or a one, uh, one euro worth of print, one euro poster. But actually that could drive traffic to the store and increase footfall. So potentially it could actually increase the revenue of the store in, on that day. And that could actually be the difference between the store making a profit or making a loss. So suddenly what was a one euro piece of print actually has quite some value. So it needs some important attention. How, you know, how should that poster be designed? How often should it be changed? Should it be changed every two days or every two weeks? You know, what's the answer? But equally, who should design it? Should it be designed centrally? Should it then be printed centrally and distributed to the stores, which then gives you a few days delay between an idea and actually promoting? Or should it be designed centrally and printed in the back office of the retail store, giving you that immediacy? And there's no right or wrong answers. But the point is to really consider what a few minutes ago was one euro cent poster, now actually can have some terrific value. And therefore, the print process and workflows that go into that can really support the end user of those posters. And as printers, we can really help that process. And for Canada in this environment, I always kind of talk about having a problem, but it's kind of a nice problem to have in that we have a giant portfolio of print products. You know, I could sell you everything from a 1,000 euro CAD printer that can also print posters up to a really highly productive uh, continuous feed uh, inkjet system of a million euros. And then almost everything in between from uh, wide format printers, from cut sheet presses, and production devices. Um, so from a, from a manufacturer's side, how do we really succinctly and simply explain and find the right solutions for our customers and make the right recommendations about products? So just hold that thought for a second. One of the things that big companies are often guilty of is, is quoting these types of giant numbers. You know, 21 billion of impulse purchases in each year. And it's kind of like, so what? What's the point? And I would also put Canon in this category as well. I took this from a Canon publication. Um, you know, how can I make decisions about my business based on these huge numbers that don't really relate to what I'm doing, that don't help me look at which applications to go into? So one of the things we really want to do is to help our customers with very relevant insights. What, is the, what are the trends in the market and what's happening that is relevant to a, to a business of our customers. But then to make links to those insights, to applications, what are the applications that service those new opportunities? Uh, could be in existing or new markets. And then finally, what are the right technologies that enable us to produce those applications? And for us, this is really about you know, a, a simple process of explore, inspire, and improve. It will help you explore new market opportunities and new trends, we we'll want to inspire you with applications and then also find ways to help you improve your business by implementing those applications uh, for your business growth. And that takes us to the Elemental campaign. And I mentioned earlier about a need for Canon. We want to help our customers in terms of finding the right solution for them. 
uh, from a giant portfolio and also from looking at trends and market insights. So the Elemental campaign for us is a completely fictitious campaign. So for sure, it won't help you feel younger, look better, or have smoother skin. But using this story we've created, um, what it will show you is how print and having the right integrated technologies uh, will really help you uh, help a marketing campaign and help a brand marketing campaign connect to customers and add real value. So Alimental is a beauty campaign. It's a, you know, so we, when we looked at this, we developed a customer profile, you know, discerning customers, probably with high levels of disposable income, but also with great choice in that matter as well. So Alimental needs to raise brand awareness. They need to uh, connect with customers. They need to support the retail sales and online sales as well and balance, balance that multi-channel or omni-channel of a sales process. And taking all these things into consideration, we then built this campaign that allows us to uh, communicate about applications and, and the value, the real value they can add to uh, a business. Of course, Elemental has to cut through the promotional noise. We all spend hours and hours a day on screen time, you know, social media, online, email, and there's a huge amount of traffic. And actually, if we look at some of those relevant insights we talked about, uh, you know, print can actually play a much greater and greater role in the way brands connect with customers. And there are some real statistics that really show the value of print in these circumstances. And we hear quite often, particularly from brands, they say we don't have budget for print. But when you look at some of these insights and the way that communications, you know, not solely print, but not solely digital, the way that a multi-channel campaign can really help, then you would definitely be finding budget for print, uh, either from an existing pot or finding extra budget for print. And that these are the kind of values we can help demonstrate to your customers. So like any marketing campaign, it starts with a customer journey, and these are simply the touch points or the steps along the way that a brand has with a customer. It could be a single touch point with seeing a poster and buying something in store, or it could be a much more detailed campaign using uh, multi-channels. We've of course got the Elemental uh, store and the whole um, customer journey with us here, so please take some time if you've not already to, to have a look at that and understand it. But just to give you a few examples of how we're approaching this customer journey. So this first example, let's say our, our discerning customer, a potential a customer for Elemental, the first touch point they have is with a direct mail piece that they receive. And this is a long postcard. Um, no envelope, of course, the, the message is on the outside, and it's also an unusual format, so it stands out in the post, and the message is immediately in your eyes. And this, for us, would mean it's printed on an image press. It's printed five up, it's duplex, and it uses some of the unique functions of the long page feature. So you can see in this example how we're going from market insight, a very succinct way of describing the efficiency of this type of print in its format and its size, and then also straight to the technology and the application, in this case with the image press. So let's say the customer has, has taken, taken this direct mail piece to heart and they've registered online, uh, they've taken up the offer, and they then receive a, a thank you email with an offer for either online or a personalized uh, visit to install. And let's say there's also a free gift with this. And for us, we call this a premium direct mail, and it's printed on two different types of media weight, so it gives it a really nice feel. And it means it's also highly targeted uh, as, a, as a piece of personalized messaging as well. Uh, and for us, that means printed on the VariaPrint I, I series uh, with inline perforation, so great for tearing off vouchers within, within that store. The next piece is a, is a, is a, common, a common problem, actually, within online sales. So you might have experienced yourself, you'll go online, you choose some products, you put them in a, a checkout basket, and then you get distracted, you say, oh, I'll come back to it later, I'll do something else. And then often you'll get an email from that brand that says, we notice you almost made a purchase earlier, you know, here's a link that takes you back to where you were. It's really trying to promote. And there are very strong um, statistics that say when a, when a brand does that, there's a 40% chance that you will actually purchase those products. So it's a real incentive to do this. But let's say in this case, our, our customer here missed the email. We can actually then send automatically through the same process a, a printed direct mail piece, perhaps with a 
a free sample of the products they almost purchase. So again, highly targeted, very personalized. It's showing that Elemental as a brand really starting to understand their customers. Uh, and in our case, from a multi-channel point of view, this would use uh, a partner company like EFI's Direct Smile to send the email, and then automatically to send the, the direct mail piece printed as well. And then let's say the customer then orders this product that they have the opportunity to try. We then send them an invoice as a transactional document, as a receipt for their purchase. But again, this is not a purely a transactional, it's not an ordinary invoice. This is a, an example of a mixture of transactional content, but also more offers and more promotions. So it's cross-selling and upselling to the customer. And then again, from a technology point of view, this will be the Colorstream 6000. Uh, Chroma, which is really highly you know, cost effective at this type of dynamic print content. So you can see these different steps in the journey that, fo that focus through uh, with connecting with the customer and targeting them in a very um, specific way. So when we then go to the street, and I won't go through the same examples in the same detail, but the street environments, you know, I think 98% of us see outdoor advertising every single week. So a really effective way to, to win brand awareness and to keep things at the top of people's minds. And the same thing for the final parts of our customer journey into the store. And again, a great example that you see in the area next door uh, in terms of the different applications. So, Retailers want people to keep coming into the stores. They want to create a great ambience and to create a feeling where people who come to stores do so to touch and to try and to feel. So they have to be a nice environment. And digitally printed decor is a fantastic way to do that. Very low cost and can be changed to reflect new seasons and new, even new lines of products. But also point of sale. Around 80% of marketeers feel that point of sale is the most effective channel for influencing customer behavior in a retail store. So back to our poster example, your point of sale had better be well designed, well positioned, and really well thought out to have that maximum impact. So you can see how we, we can kind of build this multi-channel campaign. Elemental enables us to kind of tell a very simple story, but also to show the value that print can have. And I wanted to really just, I suppose, leave you with three final thoughts. And it's never really uh, been easier to to look at the value of print and to prove that value of print, whether it's in a single uh, application or whether it's a whole multi-channel uh, view as well. It, it's not only electronic communications that can be measured, measured. There are some great systems for doing that with print as well. Every application can work singly on its own to create success, but equally, in the way I've described so far, they can also work together as a really targeted and highly successful campaign enabling our customers to really find ways to find the right budget for print and to be the most successful they can for the least effort. And then finally, it's really about getting in the minds of the customer. Think about how the brands target their customers. Think about what those customers, how they want to interact with the brand. And then think about how print and different applications and different approaches can support the brand in that way. And we have many customers now who are as print service providers are using this elemental campaign to explain to their customers in the brands or in the creative agencies or advertising agencies, you know, how this process works and where they can really find the most success from this type of opportunity. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks.